in a big network that will have lots of sources, like more than more than hundreds of sources or more than one source, I have reckon, and lots of registers. In a, a complex circuit means what? When we have more than one source and more than one registers, right? Then it makes a complex circuit. So in in a complex network, Kevin uh, just gave you the idea that in, at any complex network you can find your circuit current, the total circuit current. So if we have a circuit where uh, there are lots of sources, maybe uh, maybe this. Maybe there are registers, maybe there are other registers, and then again other sources, registers, and then again sources, registers, and then uh, again other sources, <coughs> then registers. Lots of things, right? So in this circuit, you can find current with using a law that you have already adapted so far. Maybe Kashyap voltage law, Kashyap's current law, using these things or mesh current analysis, right? Using this, you can find, but that will be too difficult to find the total current, right? Because uh, finding out the total current here will be sort up, because if we have only one source, then we find the total current here. Only if this source has not exceeded. Then total current starts from here, right? And then it gets divided into parallel uh, uh, branches, and then again coming back to total current. That's what is happening when you have only one source. But listen, some kind starts from here, some kind starts from here, some yeah. kind starts from here. As this is a source, so there will be some current from, yeah. from that. This is another source. So that means you cannot find the total current. It's not possible, right? So to find the total current, we, uh, the Thevenin's introduced this law. That means you have to find Thevenin's equivalence source potential that we know as ETS, Thevenin's equivalence voltage, and Thevenin's equivalence resistance, that, that is known as RTS. RTS. If we can find out these two, then, then the current is equal to Thevenin's equivalence potential over RTS Thevenin's equivalence resistance. That's what will make you finding the circuit to the current. You understand? The total effective current in a circuit. You, can, you cannot apply... Okay. You can apply superposition theory here. That will give you maybe the total current in this branch will be equal to sum of individual source cars current in this register only. Not the total <coughs> register. Because this current is divided, getting divided here. In this branch and in this branch. Right? So again, in that branch, there might be other currents. So there are lots of currents that, and, and, and the effective current of each of different currents are flowing in, across each of the registers. But applying those laws, you cannot find exactly the total circuit current. So to find, find the total circuit current of a, I mean, this, this law is uh, conducted in the class, I think. Yes. Dot. So discussed it in the class. Yes. Okay. So to find the total current in a in a big network, complex network, we have to adapt this law, right? So for this, what we have to do? We have to find first EPS, which is Thevenin's equivalent potential of voltage, and RTS, which is Thevenin's equivalent resistor. resistor. Got it? Okay. Let me. Uh, give you an idea that how to find them. First, find the. Okay, let me have a circuit, complex circuit, right? So, first, uh, the complex circuit. Next, have will uh, be uh, from that complex circuit. Finding ETS. Thevenin's equivalence uh, potential, and next to that is finding RTS, Thevenin's equivalence register. And then finally, find out the total circuit current, which is I is equal to ETS over RTS. Any question? Mm. 
Okay. Now select a circuit, a complex circuit, right? That's the first job. Okay. Okay, we have done superposition theorem, right? That was a complex circuit. Do you want that circuit? I think it will make you feeling uh, better. I mean, it will take you less time. Yes. So, just what was the circuit? There were two sources. And then? A resistor. And then there were two other resistors into several brands. And then? 